We're almost halfway through 2024. Did you know that the chance of keeping your New Year's resolution is less than 10%? That's right, only one in 10 people succeed. There could be many reasons yet I personally couldn't keep up afterwards. First, when the goals are only ambitious without clear measurements of success. And second, when I forgot the original goals with the new opportunity arise. After struggling with these repetitive issues for years, I came up with a strategy to help me to stay focused on achieving objectives. The idea is to combine OKR and vision board together by setting specific, quantifiable goals through OKR framework and integrating them into a visually compelling vision board. You can create a constant reminder of your aspirations and a compass to guide your daily decisions. This combination keeps you focused, motivated, and aligned with your core values. So let's create one for the rest of the year. I'll use Obsidian Canvas for creating vision board as I can use my existing notes and images. Yet you can make this with your own tools. Without further ado, let's dive in. So what is OKR? OKR stands for Objectives and Key Results. The good analogy is objective is the point on the horizon that you want to get to and the key results are the measures that confirm to you that you're making the right progress. So how to set up OKR? The first step is to identify your objectives. Set up three to five high level, ambitious and qualitative goals that align with your overall core values so you can push your boundaries and you can measure the progress. Each objective should be time bound so it can create a sense of urgency and stop you from procrastinating. Second step is to determine key results. When you set up the key results, think about these two questions. How can I measure the progress and how can this outcome contribute to your mission? And lastly, think about why. By understanding why, you're setting a particular objective you ensure that it aligns with your core values. This helps you stay true to yourself and maintain a sense of purpose. And also, it helps you to be resilient in the face of challenges. Inevitably, you will encounter obstacles as you work toward your objectives. When you have a strong sense of why you're pursuing a goal, it's easier to stay resilient and push through tough times. With that in mind, I created a template in Obsidian that I can use for setting up the OKR. I will share this template in the description, so use it and try to work on your own areas of focus. With OKR, now we have more quantifiable and tangible goals. While OKR is really powerful for setting and achieving goals, some people may find the process a bit dry leading to a lack of engagement and motivations. By combining the structured and metrics-driven approach of OKR with the creative, emotionally resonant elements of vision board, you can create a more engaging, inspiring goal-setting experience. So now we are done with the first step of setting up the OKRs. Now let's move on to the second step, which is creating vision board. Like I said, I will use Obsidian Canvas for creating vision board as I can use my existing notes and images. I've already covered about Obsidian Canvas before, so if you want to learn more about it, please check the video. I will start with the core values and principles. So let's zoom in with Shift 2. You want to make sure your goals are not only focused on achieving certain outcomes, but also reflect the fundamental beliefs and philosophies that guide your life. As an example, I will share mine. In my vision board, build and learn in public, being curious, being open-minded, having fun are my core values. So no matter what happens, I want to keep these core values. So start with that. And I also uh, set up the colors 
so I can quickly differentiate the focus area when your vision board gets bigger. So, for example, red means health, orange means apps, green means learning in public. If I zoom out, I can still see, oh, this green means learning in public. And let's zoom in again like that. So from, from there, it's time to put a OKR on Canvas. I will show you an example. I'll create the same thing on the left side to walk you through. The first, you can create a card on Canvas by clicking the first icon and set up your OKR, yada, yada, yada here. But if you followed me, you already have notes in your vault. So simply bring them on Canvas by clicking the second icon and try to find your own note. OKR writing in public like this. The little cool thing is you can see the content of your note and scroll up and down without visiting each note. So you can see big picture on the canvas and let's put some images that give you more motivation. So for me, the reason for writing a lot is writing is thinking like this. And as a note, you can bring images or URL externally. So what that means is if I open up my Chrome and let's say I like this image, I can simply copy image and go back to Obsidian and paste it. Images here, you just need to rename your image. And also let's say I like this video, you can copy the URL, and then you can come here, you can copy and paste here. And you can even watch it here. And make sure you iterate this to have all of your focus areas on Canvas. Once you have every focus area covered, I will bookmark this to remind frequently these are the goals I prioritize and use it as a guidance for decision making. As a plus, I created something like Hollywood sign that is big enough to ignore when I visit the vision board. As you can see, I have created here. And if I zoom in to show you, I put some quotes that I want to remind myself. These quests are super helpful whenever I become tired and look for shortcuts. For example, the magic you are looking for is in the work you are avoiding. I'll work your self-doubt like that. Additionally, I like to put thinking frameworks that I apply to weigh the importance of work or make a right decision. A few examples will be compound effect and inversion thinking and one thing. You can put anything here uh, on the board that might give you more motivation. You can customize your vision board to perfectly suit your needs and preferences, but I want to share two essential tips to keep in mind. First, simplify your vision board. When we make a vision board, people have a tendency to create a complicated and eye candy one. Focus on clarity and simplicity. A clean and straightforward vision board will help you stay focused and avoid any distractions. And second, like I said, bookmark it and use it as compass to design your day. When you face decisive moments, use this vision board to guide you to make the right decision for you. Long term over short term gains, right and hard works over temptations. Today, I've covered how to set up better goals with OKR and integrating them into vision board so you can have a compass in your hands when you need to figure out priorities of work and make a long-term beneficial decisions for you. I will end this video with this quote. We don't rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems. So tr make sure you tried to set this up and let me know how it was useful to you in the comments. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.